So how do you create the snapshot and how do you revert to it? There are multiple ways how to create the snapshot, but the easiest way is to do it in the web UI. So if you log into the Gaia portal, you have the option under maintenance for snapshot management. And here you can create a new, and then we can do like R81.10 HFA, I don't know, zero. Uh, new installation. And I'm not able to have space. So this is how you create the snapshot in the web UI. Uh, it takes a while. So you need to think about a few things. If you do a factor reset on this box, the snapshot will also be uh, removed. So if you want to be able to use this snapshot, for example, if you have an Air RMA and you get the new appliance for the exact same module, I would say, then you need to export the snapshot from the web UI so you can import it later on. And it's also important, and I think it says in the uh, pre-requirement guide. So if you want to revert the snapshot, you need to do the first time we said before you revert to the snapshot. I think you can also do it during the first time we said actually. So we have created a snapshot here within the Gaia portal. And here we can do import, export, revert, delete. And we see how much space it takes. So if you want to export this one, we can do export. And we are able to download it from the web UI. So we can do a start export. And then I will be able to download uh, an image more or less. So this is quite large. It's uh, 7 gig. Um, and this is just a normal gateway. If it's a management station, this will be a lot larger. Snapshot is something that you do before an upgrade or before major changes, I would say, but normally before an upgrade uh, because it's easy to just revert and have everything undone. So now when the export is completed, we're able to download this one and we get a tar file. So here we have a tar file being downloaded and as I said, 7 gigs. So depending on your link, it will take a while. Of course, you can also do schedule snapshots and then you would do activate here. And this will create an automatic snapshot every week. I wouldn't use that myself. I think it takes too much space and I normally only do snapshots when I do an upgrade. So if I do a major upgrade or an HFA install, I normally do a snapshot. Um, not all the time when I do HFA install, but at least when I do major upgrades. Um, I also try to do a snapshot when it's uh, more or less a new install, like the base installation, so I can easily go back to that. Um, as I mentioned, you're able to use this snapshot for a new appliance if you get an RMA. But if you change like modules, you cannot use the snapshot then you would need to use a backup because you would need to change like uh, uh, interface names, etc. So snapshots is more or less, at least for me, it's when you do upgrades. And I won't be able to revert very quickly. So if you want to revert, you can of course do it here in the web UI. You can also do it in CLI, but you can also do during both. And that's why I like snapshots. So. If the box doesn't even start after an upgrade, you can do it during the boot to revert to a snapshot. So that's why I like it. I would just show you how you can also do this within uh, CLI. So if we go to the same box, just log in here. Uh, as you see now, I'm currently in, in expert. And for this, you you're not you should not be an expert. So I would go to Clish, and then we do lock database override. So here you can do show snapshots. It will list all the snapshots you have. If you want to have specific details for it, you do a snapshot and then the name. Sorry, and then all, and then you see the 
when it's created, the size and the description for it. If you want to create the snapshot from CLI, you do set snapshot and they've actually deprecated this command. So then you need to do one time and then more or less you have, uh, let's see, we want to do, what should we do? I need to check the guide. <laughs> Uh, so it says add snapshot and we shouldn't do set of course we should do add add snapshot one time name and then we can do uh, r80 10 from CLI um, created in CLI and I think that's it Oh, sorry, I cannot have spaces there. Like this. Created in CLI with no spaces. Uh, so taking snapshots. So this will be more or less put within uh, the LVM partition when it's uh, an appliance. If it's an open server, it will be placed in a different directory. Uh, let's see if I find... So here, so appliances, it's in the LVM directory. In open servers, it's in the var uh, CP snapshot and snapshots. So that's good. And in case the snapshot is exported, it will be changed within, it will be saved within this directory. So that's good to know. Um, right, so now we have two snapshots. And we can do show snapshots. And we see here that it's under creation. So now it's done. So I will do clear here. So just show snap shots. It will list all the snapshots. Two ones. If I want to see a specific one, I need to put the, the name for it from CLI. All. And here we have the details. If we want to revert here, we do set snapshot revert. And here we can uh, revert the snapshot if we want. So we can also revert the snapshot from something else. So that's how you can revert it here. And if you want to revert it within the, the portal, it's here. However, I just want to show you how it looks during boot. So you can see it. So we will go to the Lighthouse Management. So we will do like this. Uh, we will do and reboot. And then we open the log here. So we should see the appliance reboot and then we should be able to select that we actually want to um, uh, revert the snapshot. So please wait, the system is restarting. So hopefully we we'll see something here. And this is why you want the lighthouse management or an ILO interface for an open server. It's, it's great. And we want to enter the boot position. And then just press any key. And here we have the, the boot option to revert to snapshot. Then we need to put in the, the admin password. Failed. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Um, so here we have the two options that we want to uh, uh, revert. By the way, it was not actually the admin password. It was the expert password, as yes, you know. So uh, try both of them if, you, if you're struggling. 
Um, so here you have the possibility to revert to the new installation and here we have to revert to the CLI one. So I will do to the new installation. And then it should be exactly how it was when I took the snapshot, meaning it should be a carbon copy. So it has all the configuration, all the, um, uh, the same image, etc. So everything is the same. And this is why I like the, um, the snapshot option when you do upgrades, because if you need to revert something, you can revert it really quickly. But just as a reminder, when it comes to the policy, meaning the firewall rules and logs, etc., that's on the management station. It's not on the gateway itself. So if you want to revert the rule base, you need to do that on the management station and push out the configuration or push out the firewall rule base, so to say. So when you're reverting the image, it will reboot uh, at least one additional time. Yes. So it goes to complete boot cycle because it's reverting a lot of things. As an extra reminder, if you do a factor reset, the snapshots are no longer on the box. That's why you need to export them if you want to make sure to have them or for example an RMA. Alright, so it has booted up so we should be able to reach the box again. Yes, we are. So one minute uptime. I know that you didn't see that I made any changes here and I did not really do that. I just wanted to show you how a snapshot actually works. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.